The most delicious coriander scramble. It's so versatile, entirely gluten-free, and packed with the most aromatic herbs and spices. To start, I'm gonna take a teaspoon of whole cumin seeds, and I'm just going to heat them in a frying pan, no oil, for about 90 seconds or until you can really smell the cumin. You can really smell the cumin seeds. So now I'm going to add in my olive oil. Now I'm gonna add in my finely sliced onions, garlic, and my long Romano peppers, and a generous pinch of salt. I'm gonna fry this all together for two to three minutes. Now I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of sweet smoked paprika and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. I'm gonna fry this for about a minute. It smells absolutely beautiful. Look at that color. Next, I'm gonna add in my two types of tofu. I've got my silken tofu and I've got my firm tofu, which I've squeezed really firmly just in a clean tea towel, just to make crumbs as it were. It's gonna give it that lovely mixed texture. A tablespoon of nutritional yeast flakes and a good 10 drops or so of smoked chipotle Tabasco, depending on your preference on spice. You can add more or less. Now I'm going to add in a pinch of dried chili, my chopped cherry tomatoes, and a teaspoon of maple syrup. I'm just gonna fold those through, and my coriander scramble is done. And finally, plenty of freshly chopped herbs. I've got coriander and mint here. If you had some chives, that would be nice too. And just, just loads, as many as you can bother to pick. I'm just gonna finely chop them. And I'm just going to fold those through. Look at those incredible colors. Another pinch of salt and some lovely black pepper and a drizzle of olive oil. And I'm just gonna stir it all together. How could you resist? It's perfect for picnics and packed lunches. You can have it in a sandwich, you could have it in a taco shell. I'm gonna have it in some freshly made corn tortillas, even on a flatbread. We'll show you that recipe in another video. And there you have your beautiful coriander scramble. We'll see you again next week for another episode of What on Earth to Eat Now. It's absolutely delicious. You're gonna love it.